um, my first job in the industry was as art director. And so I, I had to really go through a trial by fire where I did the things that I thought an art director did and made a lot of mistakes. And, and even now, I'm not even sure if I'm a good art director. But, um, you know, I, I, I guess I saw the art director as someone who has to champion the art style. They, they figure out what the art style is and they coordinate the artists to get there. And they work with the designers and the writers and programmers, you know, t interfacing with that. Um, what I realized later is that it's a lot more people-centric. You know, an art director, uh, their, their role is to take care of the artists um, and, and, and be the conduit between the art team and, and the rest of the team. Um, my experience working on Grimm and Alice, uh, it, it was interesting because American McGee, who was the game designer in both, both cases, um, you know, he had a lot of faith in me. I, I see him as my mentor. And, and he saw a lot of value in, in the visual parts of games. And so he was really encouraging of investing a lot in concept art and, and you know, kind of building up the vision of the game through, through visuals. Um, so we worked closely together to, to, to sort of visually define the game. You know, let's, let's, let's show you things that people have never seen before and, and, and even create gameplay ideas out of, out of those visuals. And then, and kind of along the way, or, or after the fact, work at what the interactions are. And I guess that, that kind of set me on the road to exploring the role of art in video games. You know, like, you know, how can we, how can we design games that have never been made before by having different priorities or coming at it from a different approach?